Hello, hello grade eights. So this is my first video for you folks. Um, and uh, so I need to get you guys playing. I need to get you uh, ladies and gentlemen on your instruments and doing something because I'm sure you guys are just stagnating at home and probably bored. Some of you might feel a little bit stressed out. And um, I can tell you right now, when I personally feel horrible and I've had a really rough time or something's gone wrong, the first thing I do is I find some alone time and I get an instrument out and then I play music because it makes me feel better. Um, so uh, we're going to be doing some play along stuff. Now, um, here's the deal. <clears throat> some of you are not going to like this. We're going to use the Tradition of Excellence book. Now, some of you are like, what? Mr. Larkin, we've been doing sheet music for the last two years. Why are you making us play in the book? I challenge you to open the book to page 32. And if you can play everything on from 136 to 140 perfectly, I would be very surprised. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that um, you guys can definitely learn from and I think will be really helpful for you guys. So because we're going to be on our own for some time, we're not going to be doing band related stuff. We're going to be working on more on solo based stuff. And there's actually a lot of stuff in this book that um, can be really helpful for you guys. And if during our time in quarantine we manage to get through this entire book and you guys are masters of it, then I will look into ordering, uh, I have etude books, actually I shouldn't say I'm going to look into it, I have them coming. They are for my, they're primarily for the senior group, but there's a possibility that I might be assigning some solo work for you guys, for your instruments. So, um, we are going to mostly work in the book here, um, and I would encourage you to use uh, Any time we play out of this, focus on creating a beautiful sound. Okay, so I know some of these exercises you might think seem a little bit juvenile, but they are still. These are designed. This whole program is designed to make highly competent musicians and readers and artists. So, um, and I know it works. So, do take these exercises seriously because that's what they are. They're exercises. They're help. They're, they're designed to help you um, flourish and become a good position. So, um, whenever I put these videos out, I'm gonna do one on Mondays, I'm gonna do one on Thursdays, so you will see me again with another video on this channel on Monday. Um, and I'd like you to try your best to take these exercises with me seriously. Um, if you don't get it right the first time, go back and do it again. We're essentially like we did when we speed ran things and we would give ourselves a check. If you didn't do it right, rewind the video, go back, do it again. Okay, um, and be 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 honest about your playing because if you if you are turning a blind eye to your own mistakes, then you're not doing yourself any favors. Then just think about it like this: if you're like, oh, I totally botched those articulation, and I I played that note wrong or that rhythm was wrong, but I'm just gonna nah, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Do you think the audience will give you that much leeway? Just think about it. Um, so, we're going to start. Um, I'm going to play on the euphonium today, um, and I'll try and switch it up, because I'm going to try and push myself to learn the other instruments and get better at those as well. But today I'm going to play on the euphonium, because that's what I've been warming up on already. Um, and we're going to start on page 40 in the book. Um, if you don't have a, a copy of the book, please let me know. You can always... If you're having trouble or you have a question or you just want to chat, you can send me an email to rlarden at sd91.bc.ca. You can send me a text or give me a call on my cell phone. It's 250-882-8219. I know I've given it out on the internet now, but I don't mind. As long as you guys have that resource, you can call me anytime you want. Just maybe not like, you know, two in the morning. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I'd be happy to chat. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can set up video lessons for people who are interested and want to do that. Um, it's tough finding time to do all that and put out all these videos uh, and, and still have time to, to do other stuff at work, though. So we'll see how much time I actually have for that. 
Um, and one other thing, I know some of you have already seen it, but I do a live stream every day at 10.30 on SD91 Live uh, on YouTube. I do Fresh Air. Um, we've got five episodes out now uh, in the bank. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I have some regularly, regular, uh, regularly occurring uh, um, viewers, which is awesome. And I highly encourage you guys to check it out. It really helps build lung capacity, air support, and will help you as a musician in basically every aspect, especially if you're a flautist or um, a low brass player, but anybody who plays a wind instrument can benefit from it. Heck, even drummers and, and percussionists and bass players can benefit from it. Um, heck, if you've got siblings who aren't in band, but they do um, sports and whatnot, super helpful for athletes as well. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's not mandatory, but it's a lot of fun. So check it out. So we're going to start with a warm up. We're going to do the concert B flat major scale on um, page 40. And uh, I'm going to set a metronome so we can uh, play along with each other. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear this clearly. Um, make that a little faster. Okay. Hopefully that's not too loud. And if it is, I apologize. If it's not loud enough, I apologize. Um, so, uh, we're going to do the scale and arpeggios, okay? Everything is tongued and try to make sure you have a clear sound all the way. study as well okay so that's the next one um, and that's with the eighth notes and quarter notes um, so the goal here being to make sure that we are keeping a smooth transition between the slurred notes and making the tongued notes noticeably we have to make a noticeable difference between them do, 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 right okay and if this is too fast, keep in mind we have a little gear down in the corner. You can always go there and you can actually slow down the video if that's what you prefer. Or you can just pause the video, put on your own metronome that's slower, and try and put it at a tempo that works for you, okay? Basically these videos are just a way for me to give you some things to work, okay? So, technique study. Page 40. One, two, and three. <laughs> start actually on page 16 for you guys okay and I'm just gonna say right now if you're having trouble with the exercises on page 16 then I would recommend you take some time during your quarantine to go back and start from the beginning of the book and work your way up okay um, okay so we're gonna actually start with number 56 okay which is the duet and you're going to say, Mr. Lord, how are we going to do a duet? I'm by myself. You're going to play it with me. <gasps> okay. <coughs> so, um, I'm going to play it twice. The first time, I'm going to play the A part, and I'd like you to try and play the B part. And then we're going to do it again, and we're going to swap. Okay? 
So make sure you know all your fingerings there, and uh, don't watch all of those slurs, okay? Number 56, chorale. One, two, three. <laughs> kind of an indefined amount, and that's because that's, that's all I can do right now, because it's, I can't cut you off, so, figure it out. Um, so now we're going to swap, I'm going to play the B part, I want you to try and play the A part. So lots of air, you're the melody now. One, two, three. <laughs> happens before um, the downbeat, right? Downbeat being the first beat of a measure, right? Downbeat, right? Downbeat. And that's why when I'm conducting, right, my hand goes down towards the downbeat. Um, so number 57 here, we have a little rhythm exercise, okay? And it's in 2-4, which has how many beats in the measure? Two! Thank you, class. Um, so it's in 2-4. Um, and we have a one quarter note pickup, right? Um, so that means it's going to be on the last beat of a measure, right? So when I count something in like this, I would say I'm going to give you a bar and one, right? Which would mean one, two, one. Ta, ta. And there's the downbeat, right? Um, so I want you to take a deep breath, and you're going to, on T's and ta's, you're going to say this whole uh, exercise, number 57, with the pickup, and you're only going to breathe where the breath mark is, so make sure you take a big breath. I highly recommend you breathe on the beat right before you speak. So like, like, one, two, ta, T, right? So breathe on the beat before the pickup. Ready? One, and no. One, two, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta, ti, 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 ta. Okay. Um. Now we're going to try number fifty-eight. I'm gonna just change the time signature here. Okay. And this one does have a pickup, uh, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to give you a bar and one, and you're going to breathe on the one there. Okay? I'm going to play the A part first, and you're going to play the B part. Uh, if that's too difficult, then try and play the A part along with me, and then play the B part along with me. Rewind, and then try it properly, okay? Oh, wait. Oh, yes, right. I apologize. I've forgotten. This one's about key signature, right? Um, so, the A and B parts are actually exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the only difference is that in the A one, there's no key signature, and the accidentals, the flats, or natural signs, if you're a saxophone, uh, an alto, um, they are written into the bars, whereas in the B one, it's the exact same music, except that the accidental is written in the key signature. So pick which one you want to play. They're going to be the same. <laughs> okay. 
So I give you a bar and one, and then we play. One, two, one. Okay. That's not too hard. That's pretty simple. You just got to make sure we're tonguing on those eighth notes. Um, uh, I am going to ask you to try your best to to, we're going to skip 59, I'm not going to bother with that because we've done it. Um, but I'd like you to look at 60, remind yourself about the difficulties of your instrument. Take a few moments, pause this video if you have to, and do 60 on your own, okay? And make sure to read the text along with that because every one of your instrument has something important going on there. So trumpets, for example, it says, are you extending your third valve slide on every D? And you should. Anytime you have a D, you should be extending your third valve. And if it's not working, then you should get your instrument fixed and get send that off. Um, so we're going to jump over to page 17, and we're going to look at um, rhythm time, number 61, okay, um, which is in 3-4 time signature, which is how many beats in a measure class? Oh, that's great! Yeah, we'll, just, we'll run this like Dora the Explorer. How many beats? <laughs> Sorry. Um... So, um, we have a tie in the second measure of 61, where we have a half note and a quarter. That's hard, so we're going to combine nerves together, okay? I just want you to say the rhythm, okay? One, two, three. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 Okay? And remember dotted half note being three beats, right? So we're going to do number 62, okay? Encounter in three. Make sure you are tonguing the non-slurred notes and slurring the slurred notes. Okay? Only breathing on the breath note, Mark. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> last measure, right? But it's not written in the bar. It's because it's in the key signature. So anytime we play a piece, make sure you look at the key signature first. So you can go, yes, all of my A's are flat. All of the B's are flat. All of the F's are natural. Whatever it is for your instrument, okay? Um, now we're going to try number 63. This one is in piano. It does have a pickup. Simple waltz, okay? We can do this. I'll give you a bar and two as you come in on beat three as the pickup. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> you to try and play it as expressively as possible. Add like a, a dynamic contour. It is supposed to stay piano, but that doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of a swell. I'm going to do it one more time, okay? One, two, three, one. <laughs> expressive as on our end as end artistic as we possibly can whenever we play okay um and we're gonna try number 64 which is an actual excerpt from legit band music um this one okay so we have 
the theme from Cambridge Overture by Anne McGinty. Um, so, this one is forte, so I want you to play this with as much fullness and as beautiful a sound as you can muster, okay? We have big jumps in this one, so make sure you're taking lots of air and using it. One, two, three. Okay. And if you mess that up, take some time, go back and do it again. Okay? Um, that's why I'm doing these videos recorded. So if you need to, you can try it again. Um, we're going to switch back to 3 4 time. I'll go a little faster. And we're going to do number 65 on page 17, which is an Australian folk song. I've I've just come from Sydney. Okay? And this has a pick up. And the first half, you'll notice, is piano, and the second half is forte, so we have to make sure that difference is noticeable, okay? So I'll give you a bar and two. One, two, three, one. <laughs> that one more time if you want to play along with me okay and if you can remember forte doesn't mean blasting it means full okay but piano doesn't mean like quiet like whispery pathetic soft it means soft as you can with a still a nice sound okay so let's try that again one two three one Okay. okay, so in our last one we're going to do is the Carnival of Venice, which we have touched on briefly. Um, now pay attention to the rhythms. Um, I highly recommend you take a moment to, we're going to say through this one, okay, watch for the ties, okay, and do, we're going to say it all with the repeats and everything, okay, I'll give you a bar and two, one, two, three, one, two, ta, 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 Okay? So make sure you're counting through the, the tied notes, right? And you have a dotted half note and a quarter, it comes out with four, but you have to pay attention to what beat everything is falling on so we can stay in time, okay? One, <laughs> on your instruments. One, two, three, one. I'm gonna start again because I totally botched that. <laughs> one, two, three, one. everything okay um so i know that those are all things we've done already but this is i know you guys haven't had band with me in almost a, it, over a month i think now um so use this to shake off the rust get used to playing your instrument again and on monday uh we're gonna pick up from where we left off and we're gonna work 
uh, through the next section, and I'm going to actually assign you guys a chance to do The Good Life, um, which isn't that hard, um, but it's a little solo. I will record a piano accompaniment thing, and I'll put it up on this channel so you can actually um, uh, practice along with it. Um, and uh, yeah, so just get your instrument out, make some noise, and all your siblings, drive your parents nuts, and uh, I miss you guys a lot. Um, and there'll be more stuff coming out. Please check out Fresh Air if you want to challenge. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I, I miss you guys. So have a great day. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll, you'll see more videos from me on Monday. All right. Miss you.